Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. We have given the scent of our mark to our beloved beast, our pupper, Yamper. Yamper is his name now. God, I love Yamper! Um, anyway, so we have taught the dog how to Douglas. He is going to lead the way. Yamper is going to lead us right to Douglas. Look around for this Douglas. This looks like a job for your beast legion. Let's give it a good whiff of that case kayak gave us and see where it leads us. It's fascinating how useful the Legion is, even outside of combat, isn't it? Of course, it can't actually smell, per se. What it actually does is extract a sample of DNA from residual sweat or other organic matter and cross-reference it with location data from the nearest match in the police database and... Okay, yeah, I get it. Now is not the time. Hey, at least Hal recognizes this social cue that we are just not interested. Uh, I want to give a small shout out to Kraken Style, by the way, uh, in the comments, who's been giving detailed posts about how each Legion is intended to be used, some of the signature skills that they have, like the unique round sword for the Sword Legion. It's not something that anyone else gets. And tips, like how you get a free chain bind out of the Sword Legion's perfect call, Sync Attack. Uh, and that's a unique attribute of his, of its. Uh, we have one Legion left to go. And then I think we'll really crack into some of the game's more advanced tech. If you're eagle-eyed, uh, and there are a few advanced things that I've been doing or trying to show off without calling attention to them, but you'll know an idea of what's coming. You'll have an idea. This is all going to come together in some pretty incredible ways really soon. Uh, and with that, in a second, it'll be a good time to recap our primary combat mechanics just to have an idea of what we're dealing with so far in context, in perspective. like the ladder's not an option anymore. We'll lose the trail if we can't get up there somehow. Let's take a look around. Yeah, so... The trail cuts off at the broken ladder, gotta get upstairs. So Detective Howard, the, the Legionis, or Legionis, has uh, so far three weapons. Uh, each of them have a unique moveset, but they all share uh, a common button mapping. All the weapons have basic combo strings, and then so far we've unlocked a charge move for each, a delay combo for each, two different command attacks each, uh, one with the... Okay. One with the back to forward stinger motion. And the other being a goddamn how? My actual knees. I mean, obviously this drone doesn't have knees. Hal, shut the fuck up! Anyway. The other being a 360 on the stick. Uh, so you keep expanding that moveset as you upgrade the weapons. And then we have our roll with iframes, and that that's mostly it for uh, Detective Howard and what you can do on your own. Oh, and there's uh, running and the run attack too, so that's about it for her. Then the bulk of the depth and the complexity comes in with our Legion. Uh, and there's a wheel of five of them you can swap between on the fly, four of which we already have. The Legions themselves generally will auto-combo, but you can also manually position them, call and recall them to get them out of harm's way, or like yank them back or make them charge forward to get them in or out of the fight. No, he cannot. He doesn't say anything valuable or useful to you to be. Oh, he sucks. Um, you, you can also activate assigned abilities for all of them uh, with the uh, da, 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 ZL and X. Oh, I hate the, the switches button mappings, because I'm so not used to their actual labels. Like, I want to call them square and triangle or something else. Even X and Y. Oh, God! It's the same as the Xbox pad, isn't it? Is it A and B? Oh, God. I never even realized that. Wow, I just had a really dumb revelation, huh? So anyway, all sorts of different attacks stem from that. Uh, and each Legion has, oh my god, 
It is, isn't it? Shit. <laughs> and each legion has uh, unique moves and skills to cast. And then there's that. The slingshotting with the chain. Then on top of that, we have the meter that we're managing. Uh, they take damage or stay out too long. Will you remain passive? It'll deplete. You'll have to wait for it to... Where did he go? Oh, is this just a new one? They're all over the place. I, think we... I don't think we killed the other one. I think we just sent it over the side somehow. Which is not supposed to happen, typically. That's fun. Let's get this one off, too. Nah, that one definitely just died because I saw the finish imprompt come up before the final hit of the sink attack. Douglas's scent trail leads right into it. Well, here we go. Yeah, through the gate. In a moment, anyway. I think there might be a chest, or at least there's some red matter. Either way. Let's go. So as their meter depletes, uh, you can also just call them back or uh, unsummon them and wait for the meter to refill. Or if you're being much more active, like the game wants you to be, you can just whack away on enemies with the X baton and restore meter. It's kind of like rallying health in Bloodborne. Oh, these platforms are fun. So they only appear when there is a legion underneath them. Or Chimera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta resummon it. Because my camera turns suddenly to face the Legion. The camera tends to track the Legions really, really hard. Even at the expense of, like, losing track of what you, the player, want to be doing. So you have to watch which direction you send it out in when you manually control it. I, I've started to find that that's what messes the camera up the most sometimes. I don't think my chain is quite long enough. There are mods or uh, um, abilities you can install in legions that will increase the chain length. Or there's just another way you're meant to get to that that I, I frankly don't care enough to experiment with to find out. Because <laughs> it's just a chest that will have something mediocre in it. Most likely. And so all of the legions have one unique trait with a left bumper. The sword legions is a full screen slash that can sort of parry and break tethers. The arrows is a precise shot. Uh, the beast legion, you ride around on him and the emperor will auto dodge things. And then the arm legion hugs you and through love and being in tune with each other's emotions, the two of you share a bond that fuses you together into a tanky punch ghost and it rocks. And then you get a new combo string out of that. And a new sick attack. Uh, and then all those L buttons and the things you do with them also drain extra meter. And then if the Legion is far away, like you've been seeing me do all throughout the platforming, you can chain jump to it. And you also get a unique set of attacks off of that. We saw it slingshot enemies just earlier on and all throughout the LP. Uh, the chain like that can bind enemies, it'll lock them down, but it suffers from diminishing returns on its effectiveness uh, when used on the same enemy over and over. I think it caps out at three, if I remember right. And then, just like that. Ah. I wanted to do something cool, but really messed that combo up. <laughs> We saw all sorts of sync attacks in there, because that is the last primary thing that we have to get through in this recap. Uh, sync attacks are these circumstantial timing-based attacks that are entirely different movesets and can lead to new combo routes uh, when you execute them. And the sheer number of sync attacks across all the different legions is way too big to list off. Uh, but combo enders lead to them, chain binds uh, when you upgrade the legions can do that, perfectly timed dodges can, perfectly timed uh, legion calls can give them. And there tend to be, like, once you hit one sync attack, what is, ooh, 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 god damn it, I overcorrected really hard. Uh, 
what will sometimes happen uh, is you'll get follow-up sync attacks. Like, you'll get one that leads straight into another completely unique attack and unique set of animations. Uh, and, oh, also, we have the, uh, the finished off states when enemies are about, I think it's between 1 and, yeah, it's like 0.5 and 1% of their HP. You'll get a prompt to finish them, which is a lot like Metal Gear Rising Zandatsu. Get iframes for one, which is really important in big multi enemy brawls. Oh, and also we're now finding we can use the Beast Legion to track camouflaged enemies. Just another really useful feature of this already amazing Legion. Uh, yeah, the finished, uh, the finished off prompt is a way to restore full health, and it's also just a way to get iframes. We go full health, sometimes you also get a sync attack through uh, executing enemies. That enemy is presented like it should be a boss, or even a mini boss, but then it's it's just a one and done in a really simple fight. So all of that, that is just what we're operating with on the surface in the middle of fights right now. That's the surface level stuff of Astral Chain. <laughs> and the game does a much better job at easing you into what is honestly a lot uh, than any other Platinum game. Because I feel like this is one of the more dense ones they put out in a, in a good clip. Uh, or just in general, because there's so much going on at a time. We, mm, the camera didn't do me any favors there, but that one's tighter to make than it looks. It's quite something. Let's see, I think we want Beast Legion soon, just to ride around. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to deal with these. Luckily, there are weaker versions uh, of this harpy enemy. So fighting them in this really tight space is not the worst. But it would still be easier to just move right past them. I don't think you're locked into this arena. But I just need a second to look around or else I'm going to fall into a pit or something. And it'll be like a big ol' haste makes waste situation. I will lose more time trying to go past them recklessly than save by fighting them. Uh, so I believe what I want here... No! Should have been some Legion-specific platforms. Or I'm just going around this way. Yeah, looks like the case. Oh. Yeah, you can get swatted away by line of sight really, really hard when Shane uh, jumping. And it can make a couple... Oh, this is not going to go well. I, I saw that as soon as I jumped. Like, that was not going to be the way. Uh, but if we go around on its way back... Probably shouldn't have Arm Legion out for this, considering he's a little bit slower and bulkier than Sword Legion and Arrow. But that's fine. Is it messed up that we that I have only named Yamper? Does it mean I love Yamper more than the rest? I mean, the answer is yes, but I could at least try to pretend I'm, I'm impartial. <laughs> for the sake of the children, after all. There we go. Really would like this thing to die before it could possibly regenerate its shield. That's usually not an issue, but you never know with ledges. Sometimes there are ledge-based complications. Sometimes gravity is uh, just a real challenge. 
see, we're gonna go into focus mode, which will slow everything down. And make sure we get all three at once, all three switches. Trying to, to make that into some kind of, like, hmm. Switches get fletches, but it's a, oh. You, you, you really have to torture and contort fletch to make even a loose rhyme there, huh? Nah. I had one good one in Teach Him How to Douglas earlier, and that's my one for the episode. <laughs> Speaking of Douglas, we will not be reaching Douglas yet. There's a dance to be done first. Oh, this is the ideal situation for Round Sword. I didn't activate it quite in time to do maximum damage. Oh, wait, no, they've all converged. Now is my time once more. Plus, when you uh, throw out the chain binds and the auto chain binds, it's not like the the swords go away, so you're waving around the, the round swords, which is why I love that particular combination, that particular uh, skill combination for Sword Legion. That's a really nice sync attack. But... Oh, it didn't quite hit the way I wanted to. That's a super fun attack from Blade Wolf 2, from Yamper. Either Blade Wolf or Yamper. <laughs> Can't settle on one. This is the most platinum, platinum game. And you have not even seen how true that is yet. <laughs> holy shit! It feels like we're a decent ways into the LP. Uh, and for the most part, yeah, we have a chunk of the game done, but the escalation is coming, and there's a lot of game left to escalate. There is a healthy amount left. Just like there's a healthy amount left to this fight, huh? I hate that so much. I don't hate it as much as Macabre. I'm sorry, Macabre. God, Macabre would have actually been an improvement. Uh, but Tartarus. Uh, uh, for the most part, Tartarus, the Macabre Tartarus, is not unlike. Mm. That's right. Uh, he is not unlike the gorilla enemies we've been fighting. Uh, actually, I'm gonna amend that statement. He is a lot like them, except I would say a little bit easier, in fact. I think uh, some of his attacks are a little bit easier to deal with. And he doesn't have as much coverage... Uh, as the gorilla. For the most part, anyway. He doesn't do as many annoying things as the gorilla. Uh, and because he's larger, I think that actually works to your benefit. In terms of being able to stay... Whoa, shit! I forgot you did that. I'm a little on fire. Oh, I totally forgot about that ranged attack, though. I backed off just a second to give myself room to breathe and speak. Oh, yeah, it works to your benefit that he's larger because it means it's easier to get from front to back through his legs more easily without colliding. Uh, and... Means that he has a bigger blind spot as well.
so he's like a more durable gorilla enemy. Gives us a little bit of a chance to flex, though. That is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, check the doobly-doo for a bunch of links to social media, like Discord. Check me out on Patreon. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.